Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to a range test with the cheapest TV of Europe, the Dacia Spring. This video is not only a normal range test, but it is also a top speed range test. And that is because the top speed of this car is 125 kilometers per hour. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. And I will do one test at normally 130, but this time 125 kilometers per hour. The conditions today, it is dry, the roads are dry, it is around five degrees Celsius and there is not a lot of wind. The car is being charged to around 90% and then off we go. I am still going strong flooring the accelerator pedal, but I don't go any faster because I have the speed limiter on. The car has used 50% state of charge and on those 50% it has done 74 kilometers. So if I do the calculation again, the range has increased to 148 kilometers. So I am back at the charger and the result of the 90 kilometers per hour test is a bit disappointing. I started the test with 87% state of charge and I arrived here at the charger with 1%. So that means I've used 86%. On that 86%, I have driven 118.1 kilometers. So if I do the calculation on one full battery in these conditions, that means dry roads and three to four degrees Celsius, you can do 137 kilometers. And again, that is a bit disappointing given the fact that the WLTP range of this car is 230 kilometers and the city WLTP range is 300 kilometers. The consumption was 18.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We have to keep in mind that this is a cheap car and therefore it does not have a heat pump but a normal electric heater. It has a relatively small battery and therefore the heating, relatively speaking, consumes a lot of energy. So in summer, oh and also another fact before I forget it, um, this car does not actively heat or actively cool the battery pack. So I don't know the condition of the battery pack and I'm not completely sure what the influence of that is on the range. But in summer, when the battery pack is warmer and you don't have to use the heater, I expect that you can get a range of 180 kilometers and in the city you can get more than 200 kilometers, but 300 kilometers you are probably not going to make it. And also another thing, the battery capacity of the Dacia Spring is around 27 kilowatt hours. And if I did the calculation right, I got a battery capacity of 24.66 kilowatt hours, which is quite a difference. Anyway, that are the results. I am charging up now and then it is time for the 125 kilometers per hour test. I hope you can hear me because it is quite loud in here and I am actually starting to yell. But anyway, the car has used 33% state of charge and on those 33% it has driven 32 kilometers. So do the calculation and you get a range of around 95 kilometers while driving 125 kilometers an hour, top speed. Okay, so I am done with the top speed test, the 125 kilometers per hour test. And let's just say that this car does not really feel at home while driving those speeds. But anyway, here are the results. I started the test with 83% state of charge and I arrived here at the charger with 4%. So that means I've used 79%. On those 79%, I have driven 70.5 kilometers. So if you do the calculation, you can do while driving top speed with the Dacia Spring, 89 kilometers. Woohoo, 89 kilometers. In summer, it is probably a bit more, 110. 120 something like that but there you have it the consumption was 27.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and again if i calculate the capacity of the battery pack it is again around 25 kilowatt hours instead of 27 so that is a bit strange but anyway those are the results and that was the range test of the Dacia spring you know the drill if you like this video please give a like if you have something to say, leave a comment and it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now thank you a lot for watching and as always, to be continued.